of this is like I say, Harry Olsen, when he was doing this... Oh, you even got the RCA box. <laughs> <laughs> so what he did was, when before the LC-1 came out in 1945, there were some prototypes that were made. Okay. This is a hand-built prototype from pre-45. Pre Okay. You can see that it's that it's all just welded, welded together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has a different kind of magnet structure. But Oh my god. Oh, it's got double bumps. That is amazing, man. That's one of a kind. When I got this, the bumps actually weren't connected. They had, weren't glued onto the cone. Mm -hmm. But you can see the cone is is also you can it's see there's a shape. there's a seam in it. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's dope just on the cone. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Either. And there's some dope on it, and then it has this it has this foam around the edge. I, I am surprised. And, wow. Uh, let's find it here. And this is the tweeter in the center. That's the cone tweeter. Yeah. And you can see, if you look here at the bottom bump, he signed it. See where it says Harry? It. No way. Yeah, I see it. Harry Olsen's signature. Gee whiz. <laughs> That's got to be priceless, And, and on man. the box, it's got the... Anyway, he had this sent to a friend of his in Ohio, mm -hmm. and um, he wanted to do some measurements because his friend had the measurement stuff. And so this was sold out of the estate of the guy that he sent this to. Ah. But like I say, they had some pre-1945 prototypes that were sitting on the shelf, and he just picked one of those up and had it sent. This thing actually sounds very, very similar to the production models. Okay. I've had them on, you know, one on each side, mm -hmm. and they sounded great. 